What's going on, my pretty pandas? It's your Huggable Hipster here, and wait, no, there's something wrong. Hold on a second. Okay, that's better. That's, that's a lot better. And welcome to the quiz. That literally defines my channel. I mean, I love doing quizzes. You, you guys know I love doing quizzes. We've done quizzes on Resident Evil. We've done quizzes on K-pop. We've done quizzes on coffee. We haven't done a quiz on coffee quite like this, where how addicted to coffee are you? I haven't taken a quiz like that. Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you? Okay, how many cups of coffee do you typically have a day? Just one. Two or three? Three or four? Five or more? Um, two or three. The three is the, the max for me, but I would have to say two or three. First thing in the morning pre-coffee. You can't think of anything but caffeine. Our little groggy manage want to die. <laughs> me though. <laughs> Could possibly murder someone if they looked at you the wrong way. That's... why? Can't think of anything but caffeinating. I would... That, that's just me. I'm not like... A, that's not me. No. How do you take it? Ooh. Right over there. Lots of milk. That's the way I take it. Black with a little milk or sugar or both. If it's got caffeine in it, I'm game. I take mine usually with two or three sugars and a lot of milk. If there's a creamer that's involved that tastes like caramel or chocolate, I'm down. But yeah, with a little milk, sugar, or both. I never liked my coffee black. I, uh. Still, I want to taste the coffee, but I want there to be some sweetness to it. It's been that way since I was 14. People have to talk to you before your first cup of coffee. Uh, if they... <laughs> They want to die, sure. <laughs> I like that that's the first one that comes up. Abso fluffing not. If you must, why would they be why wouldn't they be allowed to? You see, this is this is my answer. Why wouldn't they be allowed to? Can you wait till you get to work or class before having your first cup? No. No, I need to wake up early, get my coffee ready, smell the aroma of the beans caffeinating my soul, and then I can I can safely go into wherever I'm going. Easy? Yeah, but I'm not happy about it. Are you kidding? No. Yes, but I can't do anything productive until I have my kyopi, which is Korean for coffee. It's between these these two, yeah, but I'm not happy with it. If I have to go, I will, but I'm not happy about it. Um, I Yeah, probably, I'm not going to do anything productive until I have my coffee, honestly. How often do you arrive late somewhere carrying Starbucks? This used to happen all the time in high school, um, except it wasn't Starbucks, it was Dunkin' Donuts. I used to love their hot chocolate before I started getting into that whole coffee grind when I was like 14, because 13 I was still prepubescent in the coffee era, so I was drinking hot chocolate like 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 a little, little tot. Um, let's see, I, that's a thing, every once in a while, hell, I've even arrived late at Starbucks carrying Starbucks. <laughs> Me though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna... I know, shameful. Do you have a favorite brand of coffee? Nah, I'll drink whatever, obviously, and I'll only drink that. Sure, but I'll drink what I can get. Um, this is very true for me. I have a very, I, I, I'm a, oh god, I'm a coffee snob. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I'm a coffee snob. Um, obviously, and I'll only drink that. Um, it's not as much as I'll only drink that. I like to see other brands of coffee. It's just about the sugar and what they have to put in it. I'm not gonna drink it straight with like the, the crap that they put inside the coffee, like the the sugar and everything like that. You guys know what kind of sugar I'm talking about. All my coffee bays out there, you know what sugar I'm talking about. It's the processed white sugar that just sits in your coffee and it's death. It just it tastes like chemicals. Sugar in the raw is the way to go. How does your personality pre coffee and post coffee compare? Pre-coffee me is slightly crankier, but nothing crazy. Pretty much Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it's not some personality altering substance. It's coffee. Come on. That's, that's a realist's answer. That is a very realistic answer. Fortunately, it's not true. Uh, Pre-coffee me is slightly crankier, but nothing crazy. I would say this. This is very true. How is your mug collection? On fleek. So many mugs. <laughs> I don't care what the other answers are, it, it, so many mugs, I don't care. I, a lot of Starbucks mugs, a lot of uh, uh, I'm a boss lady mugs, other fun ones. I really want a Pikachu mug, like a Pikachu mug would make my life complete. How many empty mugs are there in your line of vision right now? Not my line of vision. One, two, three, four. <laughs> four of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, one or two, please don't make me count them. Well, 
it's over too. So. What's your opinion of iced coffee? Love it, living for it, dying every day, deceased. Amazing, I can consume it faster. <laughs> Isn't that the point? You want to be able to consume your coffee faster, so iced coffee is the way to go. Uh, it's all coffee to me. Blasphemous. The ice waters it down and makes it less room in the cup for actual coffee. Eh, to some, not to me. Uh, amazing. I can consume it faster. How about your opinion of tea? Sad excuse for a caffeinated beverage, to be honest. That's not true. Tea is amazing, okay? Uh, equally obsessed with it. Why should I have to pick? Exactly. Would you rather give up your favorite food or coffee? Um, food. There's plenty of good food and only one coffee. <laughs> sorry just the way that these are written it's so funny don't make me choose between my children <laughs> i love that answer that's going on there okay i mean i'm not some model in a toothpaste commercial but they're fine don't worry about it i've got some whitening strips on hand to support my habit you know kind of a badge of honor for how much i love coffee uh, i brush my teeth twice sometimes three times a day so mine are good um I, just, I don't know. There's no other answer for saying my teeth are good. There was just this. So yeah, that. Have you ever tried to quit drinking coffee or at least cut back? No. No way, but I have a feeling I should, like every other week, once, and then I had a crazy withdrawal never again. Yeah, this actually happened to me. I had a really bad caffeine headache once I didn't drink coffee for a day, and this was two weeks ago, and I've had a coffee every single day for the past five and a half, six years. <laughs> And, I've, and I experimented with having coffee when I was 14. I went off of it for a little bit. And then when I was like 16, 17, I started drinking it every single day. So yeah, that one, definitely. You got, you're a pro coffee drinker. What? People on Twitter, you know who you are. You said I was still an amateur coffee drinker. <laughs> you guys said I was still an amateur coffee drinker. According to BuzzFeed. <laughs> BuzzFeed loves me. <laughs> okay, sure, you consume a lot of coffee, but coffee doesn't consume you. It's just integral into your daily routine and the key to your productivity. Be careful though, because once you cross the threshold, there's no going back. The thing is with coffee, I love it. It loves me. We're one big happy family. But if you guys want to take the quiz down below to see how addicted to coffee you really are, it'll be down in the description for your playing pleasure. But that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every weekday. Stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Peace. But if you guys want to take the quiz down below of how... I can't talk. Ha! If you guys want to take the quiz down below and see what... I... <laughs> oh, ginger. Just in my camera. But if you guys want to take the quiz down below, <laughs> I can't. It's the giggles again. Uh, Jinja. But if you get. <laughs> oh, mother fluffer.